Another small earthquake was reported in Oklahoma just this morning. Seven more quakes hit the state yesterday. Since January, there have been nearly as many earthquakes in Oklahoma than all of last year. Manuel Bajorquez is in Edmond where, where residents want to know if the shaking is a result of oil and gas exploration. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. This is not the place most would consider earthquake country, but in many ways it has become that. And it was clear at a gathering last night, rattled nerves are starting to fray. Hundreds of people crowded into an Edmond, Oklahoma church, demanding to know why the ground keeps shaking. This year, Oklahoma has had more than 230 earthquakes, magnitude 3.0 or greater. Prior to 2008, they averaged just over one per year. Now they're averaging one per day. Earthquake! Okay, oh, now one. we're feeling this one. The state is now looking into a possible connection between either hydraulic fracturing or fracking, the process of extracting natural gas from underground wells, or wastewater from oil and gas production being pumped back into the ground. All through the house, we're having uh, crown molding separating, separating from the wall. We toured the home of Lisa Liebel and her husband Rod McGee, who live in Guthrie, Oklahoma. We just had an earthquake. We just had an earthquake. A 3.8 magnitude earthquake struck 10 miles away. My gut is just spot on that it's the fracking and the injection wells that the oil and gas companies are doing around the area. In a statement, oil and gas advocacy group Energy In Depth told CBS News, the best science available to us right now suggests strongly that fracking has nothing at all to do with these small seismic events. Uh, Austin Holland is with the Oklahoma five, Geological two, Survey. Uh, He's documented only a small percentage of recent quakes with a link to fracking. You cannot conclusively link it to either fracking or wastewater injection. Not all of it. We certainly at this point cannot explain the entire sequence through uh, man's activities. Though seismologists and the oil and gas industry agree that fracking does not definitively cause quakes, these Oklahomans don't think that's enough to rule out the possibility entirely. We don't want to hurt our economy, but we also don't want our houses to be crumbled one, you know, good at a time. And some of those residents called for a temporary halt to fracking and wastewater injections. But a state official said the law does not support such a sweeping move without legal justification. Anthony? Manuel Bohorquez. Thanks, Manuel.